Welcome to another video of Walk on the Wild Side. And I'm here in Blackpool Town Centre. It's a Sunday tea time, around about five o'clock. And I uh, thought I'd have a little wander around the town centre and see what we can see, shall we? I'm currently on Topping Street. And uh, we'll head down Topping Street towards um, the Talbot Road area. And we'll see what's going on, shall we? It's pretty quiet at the moment, so let's check it out, shall we? So we're looking towards Blackpool Town there. Can you see it just sticking up above the Winter Gardens there? This is Church Street. I'll just show you around here before we start. It is pretty quiet at the moment. And this is Topping Street. And it's all been done out really fancy. Look at this here, Blackpool Council. A couple of years ago, they redid this road. Can you see here, look? New paving, yeah. Look at these bollard things here. <laughs> These could be charging points, these, couldn't they? I've seen charging points like these. You know where you plug your car into a... They've got some of them down in... Uh, in um, Lytham. Anyway, that's the Tower Fisheries over there. I might go in there sometime, folks. The Tower Fisheries. It's supposed to be the cheapest fish and chips in at Blackpool Town Centre there. £5.25, but just across the road. Here we've got the Townsman pub there. That's very popular with the local YouTuber called Blackpool Biker, old Blackpool Biker. But look at this place here. There's a bit of crime, bit of northiness going on. This shop here, Renegade, look, punk rock. They've had the door put through, yeah. In it a nightmare, folks, eh? What's up with some people? What's going on? The place next door, clothes shop there, Cassandra's. I think this one here was a, was that a barber's? One of these was a barber's, I think. This one's empty. They've all been done out very nice, haven't they? It's a bit of a shame that some of them are empty. The one at the end there is a, a baby boutique. We've also got a news agent. So this is Topping Street. Very, very fancy, isn't it? And if you look at these uh, benches here, look at these benches, look, whoa. Look at that. Yeah, it's a shame, isn't it, about that shop over there? Someone put, I saw it on Facebook and some guy had just put the window through. Got no idea why someone has to go and do stuff like that, yeah. It's unbelievable, isn't it? So there's the townsman. I'll tell you what, when you look up as well in Blackpool, it's amazing what you see. Look up there, look, can you see? That says Swans up there. And the building next to that, look at this, it's another one of those tiled, tiled buildings. They're doing it up here. Just above the cask and tap, another independent, uh, pub there. There's quite a lot of estate agents on Topping Street. There's one there, Ray Strick. And this is um, Champs Bar. Again, this is another one of those tiled buildings. Can you see? It's actually got Trellfold written on the top of it. I've been past it loads of times at night, but you can actually see the top there where it says Trellfold, yeah? I wonder what Trellfold was. Was it a brewery, I wonder? Sounds like a brewery, doesn't it? Trust Trellfold's be. So that's Champs Bar. It's a sports bar. I'm not into sports bars myself, to be quite honest. And check this out. This couple here are from Australia. Can you believe it? They watch me on YouTube. Right. Amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. So before we came to Blackpool for the first time, we went onto YouTube looking up the sights of Blackpool and what to expect. And we came across your videos and we watched them every day before we came to know what to expect. So we've walked around the corner. This is our second trip here. And look who we've run into. There you go. <laughs> you never know who you're gonna bump into here in Blackpool, do you? So thanks for teaching us about Blackpool. So it's Jules and Sean from Australia and they're taking part in the Modern Giant Championships at the Blackpool Tower this weekend. They're gonna do a turn for us. Check it out. This is exclusive, folks. <laughs> there we go. There you go. There you go, folks. Exclusive. Well, this pub next door is quite good. It's called Churchill's. Look at that there. I've been in there, you know. Churchill's. That's quite a traditional pub, that, you know. Uh, they've got Samaritans just across the road from Churchill's. So I think some people will probably 
prefer to go into Churchill's, wouldn't they, and sink a few Stellas or something like that to drown the sorrows. Cafe Continental. There's quite a few estate agents and stuff down here as well, Topping Street. And uh, they did redo the layout as well. Can you see how the road kind of bends around a bit? It was just a straight road before. So there's a lot of like little shops and stuff. Cash and carry, bed, superstore there. Got a barber's here. Mama's restaurant, check this out. This has been here a long time, but it has changed hands in the last year or so. I think it was empty for quite a few years. Uh, Mama's, yeah. We've got Entwistle Green here. Massive estate agent. Oh, by the way, you see this bootleg social club here? This used to be the 007 Club and it was owned by Brian London. There you go, the bootleg social. It was once the 007 Club and it was owned by Brian London. And I think it took up all this. The sign went right across there where Entwistle Green is now. So there you go, a bit of history for you. Brian London's 007 Club. I just want to show you this place next to the bootleg social. It's called Antisocial. Look, Antisocial. And uh, it's um, creative workshops, projects, events, arts, culture. Look at this here. They've got a load of stuff in here. Look. Interesting little shop, this, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that there. Shop local. There you go, folks. Check out Antisocial here on Topping Street. We've also got uh, Dixieland chicken and ribs. What's this place here? Moments in time, weddings and events. A little shop here if you're interested in some stuff for weddings. Look at this, look. There you go. So it's in most of Topping Street. There's a look down where we came from. And you can see just over there the people like social, anti-social, moments in time, that shop there. And this is the Yorkshire Fisheries, folks. Yes, I've been in the Yorkshire Fisheries. Yeah. They say it's the best fish and chips in Blackpool. Well, they're certainly very good. I did a review in there a few months ago, so you might want to check that one out. But this is a Washington pub. And uh, I've only just noticed this sign up here. It's got the open boat tram. Look at that up there. I've only just noticed that, you know. Can you see the date on the top of the Washington? It says 1875. Wowzers. 1875. There you go. So that was Topping Street. And I'm just going to take a left here. I don't know what this street's called, but look at this artwork here. Look on the side of this. I have shown it before. Something nomads. Colour nomads, it says there. Yeah. Now this, I believe all this, um, all these murals here were all done around about was it 2016 or something we're just around the back of the old bus station here that's what used to be the old bus station here a multi-story car park they're doing a lot of work around here they're building a, a massive office block for the dwp right here let's go and have a little look in here shall we let's have a nosy here you go not much to see at the moment but this is going to be one massive office block in a couple of years time but anyway let's check out these uh some more murals over here. I can't remember what, oh, Sand, Sea and Spray, I think it was called, that uh, all this was a part of. It looks like some people have been round since and uh, put a little bit of makeup on, as you can see. And some of the buildings that they did do the artwork on have been uh, knocked down as well, unfortunately. But yeah, there's some interesting little uh, artwork around if you look for it. So there you go, there are the murals there, and we're now going to have a little look down the back of Topping Street here, and a mm, little bit, <laughs> not quite as fancy as the front of Topping Street, but uh, some, that looks a bit unofficial, that doesn't it really? Yeah, that artwork there. So, kind of around the back now. Yeah, you can see the seagulls have had a go at those bin bags there, look. Hey, I tell you what, not much gets past the Blackpool Seagulls. I think there's a cafe down here, you know. Hey, there is, you know. Look at this here. Right Bite Cafe. See, there's a cafe stuck away down here. You wouldn't even know about it, would you? 
the Right Bite Cafe. There you go. Here's a little look inside. There you go. Let's carry on, shall we? We're just round the back of the Topping Street Bakery. You can see the sign there. And uh, we've got another mural here. Look at this here, look. There you go. Murals all over the place. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to head, carry on going this way. I'll tell you what, I've met quite a few people since I've been in town. Lots of people want to have the pictures taken with me. But we're just heading towards where the... Uh, Nice one, hey. <laughs> I've got my, I've got my fan club here. <laughs> oh, hey, look at this here. Oh, naughty. Oh, nearly took my head off that seagull there then. Nearly took my head off that seagull there then. <laughs> but we're just heading up here now to this car park. You see this car park up here? Oh, bloody hell, this doesn't look too good, does it? Look at this here. It's a bit of a mess, isn't it? But anyway, this car park here, you see where they've got these porter cabins, which was a temporary dentist while they're sorting out that, uh, that tower block for the civil servants. This used to be where the syndicate was, you know, the syndicate nightclub, which was previously the ABC cinema. Yeah, right here. OK, so I'm now stood on the site where the old ABC cinema used to be, or the Syndicate Nightclub, as most people might remember it, because that's what it was last. But it was also the Blackpool Hippodrome back in the olden days. It was, a, I think it was originally the Hippodrome Theatre here in Blackpool. It stood right here. We've got this artwork here in this building. Look at that, doesn't it look amazing? Nomad clan there. They've got like a, an old wizard type guy and a... Is that a salmon or something? I can't really tell. I'm not that much of an expert on fish. But yeah, this is where the, the, um, the Syndicate nightclub used to be, or the ABC cinema. And before that, the Hippodrome. I believe that Frank Sinatra once played at the Hippodrome as well. So there's some famous uh, people that have tread the boards here when it was a theatre. So there you go. That's that mural there. Doesn't it look absolutely awesome there? It says at the bottom, Nomad Clam. Again, I think that was part of the uh, the Sand Sea and Spray Festival, where they decorated up a lot of buildings that looked a little bit tatty, you know, a little bit tatty. So they got a lot of artists to decorate them up a little bit. Uh, so there you go. At the moment, this is a car park, and they've got these uh, porter cabins here, and I think that the dentist. Is going to be opening sometime soon, yeah, because the dentist is going to be inside where the hot pub used to be, yeah. So we're back out now at Church Street. Okay, so that's Church Street there, and we're just outside this club now called Bar 137. Check this out. Hi, welcome to Bar 137. My name's Dave Georgie the Swallows. I'm here every Sunday. Come and join us at Bar 137. Cheap drinks, great atmosphere. Come and join us guys, always available, always here. Cheers guys. There you go folks, bar 137. I'll tell you what, it sounds banging in bar 137. And just across the road from there is the Stanley Arms Hotel. And this is where Blackpool Football Club was founded, right here, yeah. It all started off so quiet, didn't it, on this video? What's this here? Like a little bit of artwork, isn't it? There for you, there in front of the Stanley Arms Hotel. It's now called the Brew Room. This is King Square, by the way. Uh, there used to be a takeaway here called Popeyes for a long time. How many people knew that this was a square and it's called King Square? So here's a view of Blackpool Tower from King Square. This is where the road splits. This is Corn Street where we are now. And that road over there where the Stanley Arms is, that's Church Street. So the road splits here. But I just want to show you something down here. Uh, there used to be a bit of an arcade that went through this building to the other side. And I think there were toilets in there as well. But can you see down here where this tarmac is? There used to be glass bricks for cellars along here. You know the glass bricks, they've still got some in Blackpool. If you look around, you can see them, but they've also got this doorway here. Look at this doorway. Wow. Uh, I wonder where that led to. 
It's quite a grand doorway, isn't it? But anyway, the arcade was somewhere around about here. I think it might have been, I don't know, it could have been this here, where you walk through to the other side, yeah. And there used to be a golf store in this part of the building right here. There used to be a golf store right here, yeah. There is, um, if we look down here, there is a, a record shop just down here. It's called Records and Relics. Not sure if it's still open though. Looks, looks like it's uh, shut up. I don't know. Okay, so we're looking down Corn Street now towards the east and there's a fantastic view of the Bowling Fells down there. Straight down there, the road there. I don't know if you can see them, but it looks absolutely amazing. But we're on Cookson Street now. And uh, if you've watched a few of my videos, you'll know that uh, I've covered Cookson Street a few times, but I just want to show you something over here. We've got some, uh, oh, look at this. Got the Regent Cinema down there as well, look. Look at that there, the Regent Cinema. And uh, just on this building here, which is uh, kind of stuck on its own now. There used to be there used to be more buildings along here, but they knocked them down and they all had murals on them. This one has still got the murals on it, as you can see. There you go. Now there was another one just over here, but they've just redone this car park. Can you see how this part of the car park, I don't know if you can tell, but it's all new. There was a load of buildings here and one of them had a really awesome artwork on it and it was called Tokyo Ghost. Well, that's long gone, I'm afraid. Yeah, so all we've got is this here now, I'm afraid. I did do a, a video on that, by the way, if you want to check it out. But yeah, this is Corn Street we're looking at uh, now. And uh, yeah, a little bit, not the best area of Blackpool, to be honest. Gets a little bit rough around here. But uh, yeah. Let's head over here, shall we, towards the Regent Cinema. Look at that there, look. That's amazing, doesn't it? Yeah, so here's a look back down Cookson Street towards the town centre. We see these nice trees on the right-hand side. Cost £10,000 each, those trees. Yeah, so as you look this way, we've got Regent Road there. There used to be, a, well, there was a murder down there back in the olden days, right back in the 1930s, was it? Or was it before the 1930s? A bride in the bath murder, yeah, happened down there. Number 16. Yeah, and this is the Regent Cinema, isn't it grand? Yeah. The Regent Cinema. It's got uh, antiques and collectibles emporium on the ground floor. And you can still watch movies there. You can watch matinees in the afternoon. So there you go, the Regent Cinema. I'm just outside the lingerie lounge here on the corner of Cookson Street and Church Street. Uh, check it out. Give Ann Summers a miss and try this place instead. Anyway, I hope that that little walk around Blackpool on a Sunday afternoon. Little walk around, we had a look at some of the shops and the pubs along Topping Street. And we also had a look at some of the murals around the back. We learned about the ABC Cinema, the Syndicate Nightclub, the Hippodrome. And we also took a look down here at Topping Street as well during the day to have a look at some more mills. Anyway, I hope you like this video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I will see you again on the next one.